Why did many people, including Franz Kafka, queue up to look at a blank wall? I'll give you that again. Why did many people, including Franz Kafka, queue up to look at a blank wall? Some kind of trendy art piece? Or yeah, something? some sort of modern art. Yeah, that seems feels too obvious. Yeah. Well, that's the aim of my game. Be very <laughs> obvious. <laughs> yeah, it, it just worked for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we don't know what color the wall was. It's a blank wall, but we don't know if it's necessarily a white wall. It could be some specific color. Maybe it could be like a newly invented pigment. The darkest or, black. Yeah, uh, something like that. Anish Kapoor. Or it could be, I guess I guess like a, like a stone wall could still be blank if it's not painted or adorned otherwise. So it could be something interesting about the type of material used to, to build the wall. I feel like there's a double meaning to the blank wall. I feel like there's more to this blank wall than we're... Then we're, is, we're yeah. placing it too literally, the blank wall. Oh, is the blank wall then screened upon by some, a film? No, it played? is very literally a blank wall. Right. Um, there's, 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 how do I phrase this? I'll, I'll, I'll just leave you with that. No, it is, it is very literally a blank wall. Is it, is it a wall of some import? Um, that's an, <laughs> I can't answer that without giving away more. Okay. Do you think it's the Berlin Wall? Is that a blank wall? I'm not sure Franz Kafka lines up with the dates for the Berlin Wall. Oh, no, yeah. Franz Kafka, yeah. Franz Kafka himself is, is not relevant to the question. That's just trying to give you a, a vague oh. kind of area and, and time. Lined up just there. Oh, oh, wait. Great Wall of China? Mine's quite sinister. My answer's quite <laughs> sinister. Is it a sinister yeah. answer? I mean, Franz Kafka is quite sinister, but... Yes. Did people line oh, up? Oh, no. I know where no. you're going with that. Okay, and <laughs> No. Uh... But yeah, that something something bad had happened. Not not that bad, but something bad had happened. It's not like me being a child and being told to stand up against a wall because I'd been naughty. <laughs> no, <laughs> With there, my there, face, face there is... wall. I was on timeout or something. <laughs> Franz Kafka stole his mother's cookies and he was facing the blank wall. That is a very, <laughs> very modern art experience that you just line up and you just stare at that wall for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you could probably charge admission to that in shortage. I know, I think I will. Um, I can't call it, think about did, what you've done. Did the wall stay blank? Um, for a little while, yes. For, for about a year. This was 1911, 1912. Uh, for, for over a year, that wall stayed blank. It didn't used to be, and, and it wasn't afterwards, but for, for more than a year it was blank. Huh. How long did people stand in front of it? I mean, not particularly long. I mean, there were a lot of people standing in front of it, but they didn't they didn't need to be there for too long. So the, was the wall blocking admission to something? No, you, you're in the right area with art, by the way. Was it the Mona Lisa being missing or something? Yes. Oh. Was it? Yeah. Oh, was it the- oh my <laughs> God, I was just <laughs> lit. <laughs> Don't know where that came from all of a sudden. Yes. Oh, wow. Why? I'm How? so jealous because I just spent all... I saw the Mona Lisa last week and I would have spent three or four hours reading about the theft of the Mona Lisa and I never <laughs> once came across Franz Kafka. So they went... Oh, I don't even know the story. I feel like I do know the story, but I don't know the story. Is it the theft of the Mona the Lisa? Mona Lisa? The Mona Lisa was stolen. Oh, oh, was it stolen or was it just preserved in the war? No, it was stolen. August stolen. 21st, 1911. Yeah, and it was it was gone for ages until they got it back. And so people still went to visit the blank wall. Well, it was it was the Louvre. The, this is where the Mona Lisa was stolen. That's your new tourist <laughs> yeah. attraction. <laughs> the, the Mona Mo- Lisa wasn't famous at that point. It was actually quite an obscure painting. Really? And, well, not obscure, but it was a, it was not a famous painting. And it was the theft of the Mona Lisa and its disappearance for like a year that generated all the buzz around it. And it became like now it's famous because partly because it got stolen. I am so proud of myself. I'm, I am. I am now officially smug. <laughs> we've we've all had our moments. It was a guy who thought it should be repatriated to Italy, wasn't it? Because uh, Da Vinci painted it. Yeah, it was uh, Vincenzo Perugia was his name. I don't know why I bothered rolling that R. It's Italian. That was the <laughs> that was the wrong accent to do it in anyway. Uh, but yes, he he revealed he had the painting uh, just over two years later. Um, but by that point, the Louvre had given up and hung a different portrait in its place. Oh. So, yes, for, for roughly a year, there was a blank wall. This is where the Mona Lisa used to be, and people queued up for it. 
It it wow. was actually though a um it it wasn't like it is now where it has its own wall. It was actually like a series of paintings. It was like painting, 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 blank space, painting, painting, painting. So it was it was such an unimportant painting. It just sat amongst the others. But yeah, ah, oh, ah, oh, well done, Mary. But I'm mad at myself about that because I was just reading about it. Don't you think with um with the influence we could have uh what boring painting shall we now make the new mona lisa <laughs> where it's like hang on a minute do you know this anyone is kind of like a <laughs> or do you know anyone who's a painter because you could make them very rich i actually <laughs> i actually do know a painter steal one of their paintings and make a new story steal about it, it. that's yeah hang on yeah <laughs> last time we were on the show didn't we plot to form a gang and commit a theft? And now we're doing it again. <laughs> heist it's just We are just a heist movie. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I want to ruin my reputation online. I'll tell you, can I say one last, can I say one last thing about the Mona Lisa? Because I'm full of Mona Lisa information at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to see something interesting, go and Google the back of the Mona Lisa. It's really interesting seeing the back of famous paintings. And there are lots of pictures online of what the Mona Lisa looks like on the other side. It's really interesting on the, like on the, on the, you know, the wooden back. More interesting than you'd think. Have you ever watched those documentaries where they do literally like x-ray paintings and show yeah. what was underneath? Oh my yeah. God, it's so fascinating. Wow. They've, they've done that to the Mona Lisa so many times, it must be radioactive <laughs> by now. 